Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, we're going to have a little change of pace. We're going to go into Labyrinth of Legends and fight Red Hulk. I know some people are a little bored with fighting Winter Soldier all the time, even though that's a great benchmark and a time-honored tradition. But I promised that I would go into Labyrinth of Legends and face this Red Hulk. Now, I'm showing you the synergies that are active mainly more attack um, and that crit right there as well and I think we had a perfect block but that doesn't really matter all right now as the fight goes underway I'm going to talk to you a little bit about my strategy my rotation uh, and that sort of thing keep in mind that I am running suicide so I'm going to be taking a lot of recoil damage because stealth suit spidey is not suicide friendly and i was not about to turn off my suicides for this video all right so first thing i'm going to try to do is get that precision and fury buff up i want both of those buffs up that's where i'm going to do a lot of damage all right so we're going to try to bait out his uh special one there we go and now I'm gonna fire off my special one. Okay, and here we go. Boom. See the fury, see the precision up there. And of course I took recoil damage, but now you see those crits. This is the damage. All right, now I'm gonna build up to a special two and then fire that off and that'll give me a long duration. But I messed up there. Uh, what happens because spider-man has that double hit the timing is a little different and I messed up on the timing So I wasted that special two. This is my first time fighting Red Hulk with stealth suit Spidey, so I'm still getting used to him. I'm still new All right, so after that mistake We're gonna try to build up once more to a special two and this time we're gonna try to be a little careful a little more careful all right here we go and there you got the timing there and look at that damage that was a lot of damage and if we had not wasted the first one we would be sitting pretty doing some crazy damage to him but all in all we did okay you know for a first time now at this point I'm out of web cartridges so I've got to build up to a special three in order to reload them all and you can see the precision buff is ticking away now another thing to mention that I didn't mention in my closer look video on him is that when you dex like that you know evade shallow evade however you want to call it it pauses the timer for your fury and your precision buffs so that gives you a lot more time and it's awesome all right so here we go we've got them all reloaded again and we still have that precision up still have that fury up and so we can just go to town now I did not select a web cartridge in the pre-fight ability uh, menu all right uh, you see I fired off a special one just to refresh the precision uh, buff but I didn't select one which means the web foam cartridge gets loaded that's the one that basically does more crit damage now I did test out a little bit don't ask what happened there he did that evade and you already know um, but I did test out one of the other cartridges because of that evade. Uh, one of the things that I hated about the fights in Labyrinth of Legends and why I don't go there, uh, you see I got hit. But what I don't like is that evade. That evade is horrible. I hated it. And so I toyed around with the idea of using one of his other pre-fight abilities so that I could stop. I think it's the uh, tranquilizer one. But so I could stop 
him from evading. And I played around, but it looked like it was going to be an even longer fight than this one. And so I said, you know what? Never mind. I think I stopped it right in the middle of it. Uh, just was not useful. And my damage was lower uh, with that cartridge. It's more for utility. If you're fighting someone that has a lot of evades or they go unstoppable a lot, then having that web cartridge loaded is awesome and can speed the fight up because if you just go for damage, you're still going to have to play around the evades and the unstoppable. But while this random evade is annoying, it doesn't happen often enough to warrant that particular uh, web cartridge, at least not for this fight. All right, so one of the things that you'll notice that I'm doing here is I'm, even though I have web cartridges loaded, I went ahead and uh, built up to a special three and fired it off, even though I had enough and I didn't need to reload. That's because I'm running suicides, my health was low, and I was thinking, you know what? Maybe it might be time to cycle special threes in case I, you know, die to the recoil. But I did another fight where I just went all out. You know, that's not this one here. It did speed it up a little bit. You know, I had less health. And I think it was 301 hits. And the fight was much faster by like a minute, I would say. What I did in that one is I just freely fired off my specials. Sometimes I got unlucky and didn't get any crits. But when I got crits, especially on that special two, it was insane. So if you're not running suicides, he is going to rock. If you just cycle those specials, he is awesome. Uh, I will give you my thoughts on him after this fight. Uh, but in any case, you can see here, we're still going. I messed up again, which also added time to the fight. That's two times. I, instead of doing a lot of damage, I did very little right into his block. Okay, so very annoying, but again, this was my very, very first time fighting this uh, Red Hulk. And I may not go back in here again just because it wasn't all that fun for me because I don't like long fights, but we're coming to the end here. And see, he's got 4% left. Just trying to bait out that special one. I don't like uh, evading his special two because it does strange things. Has different timing sometimes. Look at this, just evading like crazy. Like he's a uh, classic Spider-Man. But in any case, Red Hulk is down. And we can see in a minute how many hits it took. All right, 327 and about nine minutes or so. A little less than nine minutes. All right, so what do I think of Stealth Suit Spidey? I actually like him. I like him more than I thought I would. Uh, I didn't know a lot about him before I did my Closer Look video. That's one of the reasons I do the Closer Look videos is so that I'm motivated to look into him and learn more about him. And I learned more about him after I did the video, which hopefully you saw here. Like the Dexing, I hadn't been using that at all in the uh, Closer Look video, at least not consciously. I normally Dex anyway, but I wasn't thinking of using it to extend the uh, timers. But Stark Spidey is still my favorite. But Stealth Suit Spidey definitely is worthy of a rank five. So if you have him, 
he will be very useful. He has that utility that Stark Spidey doesn't have, which is that slow. So he can handle Unstoppable and Evaders, whereas Stealth, uh, Stark Spidey cannot do that. All right, so that's going to do it for the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the gameplay. Uh, <clears throat> click like if you enjoyed it. If you haven't given me a subscription already, feel free to give me a subscription. Now, I am going to start streaming on both YouTube and Twitch, as well as Facebook. So you can follow me on any one of those platforms. Uh, I'm going to be adding a bot to Discord, so you'll be able to see the chat in the Discord server as well. I, I created its own text channel. So if YouTube isn't giving you notifications properly and not showing me as live, which is uh, what it's doing for several YouTubers, then hit me up on one of those other platforms and you can get notified from there a little bit more reliably. All right, so take care and you all have a blessed day.